Hi, my name is Lana Cresson, and I am a violin and viola instructor with Granted Records, Carnegie Hall. I actually performed at Carnegie Hall last May in New York City, so that was just a surreal experience. I sometimes look back and I have to pinch myself. I don't even know if it was real. It was crazy. It's going to be probably really hard at the beginning just because you're not going to get it right away, but that's totally normal. But I would just say don't give up and keep trying and do it slowly. Be patient with yourself. Those are all things that I had to remind myself because I'd get really frustrated when I couldn't play some song right away, but that's normal. We'll get there. At your first lesson or whenever I meet you, I will size you accordingly. So there's a quarter, half, three quarters or a full size violin and then viola works in inches so we can figure that out with you as well. But um, if you're kind of toying between the idea of violin and viola, we can potentially go and rent the instrument first. I know a few places that are great for that and it's a really um, good way to start your budgeting for if you wanted to eventually purchase your own. So those are just different options. Classical, I can do some like top or pop, I can do blues. I haven't gotten too much into jazz, but um, I guess blues and classical would be my favorites to teach. Yeah. Whenever I'm frustrated with the violin or viola music in general, I will take the parts that I'm frustrated with and I will, I always say, break them down into bite sized pieces so then you can digest each one and then eventually eat the whole burger or pizza or whatever you're into um, but that's one of my biggest things or just step away listen to the music kind of reevaluate how you're doing everything um, but yeah my biggest advice would definitely be just bite-sized pieces if even if it's two or three measures at a time or one yeah break it down I love them both but I guess viola right now just because I can get like a deeper tone and it's very meaty and uh, yeah, I guess that would be the best description. But then I do love jamming on the violin to like blues or fiddling, you know, whatever you want. So hard question. <laughs> seeing that light bulb go off and seeing the passion that my students can, can get from it. So just when we play a song and seeing their lights or their eyes like just kind of brighten, it's amazing. I love that feeling and just letting them know that vi or like music is so much more than just the notes on the page. It's how you live your life, it's everything. So my dad has always been very musical, so actually about 21 years ago, I constructed my own violin out of a cereal box and bicycle handle. Um, I just, I don't know, I really wanted to play it and I figured if I wanted the violin, I might as well make it on my own first. And so my parents saw this and they realized that maybe I should start getting into the violin. So that's how I started violin 21 years ago. And then about 10 years after that, there was some opportunity to start playing the viola. And at first I was like, what is that? Or kind of what what entail, what does the viola entail? And uh, I've been playing viola ever since then. I started playing at school, but I also, yeah, had private, private lessons like right from the start. So I was really fortunate that my dad was just all on board with me and getting me there. Uh, right now I'm part of South Coast Symphony, so I'll do some work with them, but outside of that, sometimes I'll get friends together and we'll do really fun performances and that's what's so cool about being able to play the violin and viola. You can just pick up and share your love and music with everyone. <laughs>